Okay. So, what's going on, dreamers? And welcome back to uh, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Now, this is a, a new type of thing that showed up on my screen. So, I wanted to start with this. It says, please. It says, please. Don't worry. There's a P behind that L. Uh, and that's an L, by the way, if you can't see it. Uh, it says, please adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends. Right there. Confirm. Please adjust the slider until number five becomes the number nine. There we go. <laughs> Please adjust the slider in until you stop it adjusting the slider. Which two, which of the two made up words below is most appealing to you? This one. Please don't adjust this, adjust the slider. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what? time and it is right now sure is the time is it the time that is the time that it is right now the correct time sure <laughs> what is time anyways yes <laughs> yes is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? No. Help. Yes. <laughs> Will you come back to visit me? Sure. The Stanley Parable 2, even though it's not. Um, hmm. Let's begin. This. Nope. All right. So in this one, there's other type of endings. I know there is. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. <laughs> Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a <laughs> single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Right. Okay. Oh, the bucket. Yeah, the bucket. I think the bucket is what I'm going to do next. Bucket. Yeah, I feel like the bucket is going to be the next thing I'm going to do. Second. Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. Right. <laughs> Not everyone bucket. is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very I got a bucket. Indeed. I got a bucket. I got a bucket. Oh, 
Well then, let's get him here then, shall we? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I'm going to go with you to the right. Because I this can. was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Oh, okay. This is a, a room. <laughs> Right, okay. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Oh my god, that's very cheap. It is not a dollar twenty-five anymore. It is like three something for a freaking drink. <laughs> truly, Some... being here with the bucket was a grand adventure. Stanley Grand reflected adventure. on all they'd been through together. First, walking through the door on the right. Then walking to the lounge. Then arriving at the lounge. What a thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. So what happens if I just stay in here? <laughs> Perhaps this was where the bucket felt most truly at home. Here in the employee lounge. Perhaps it's the only place a bucket can even feel at home. Cool. <laughs> now I'm just in a room. Stanley decided to just give the bucket absolutely as much time as it needed to be in the lounge. Clearly, the bucket <laughs> and the employee lounge shared a special. My connection. bucket! <laughs> it's my bucket. My bucket. My bucket. My bucket. My bucket. My bucket. La 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 la. I got a bucket. It's my bucket. I got a bucket. It's my bucket. But finally, the bucket was done being in the lounge, and they took the first open door on their left to get back to business. Yeah, I bet they did. Uh, I got a bucket. I got a bucket. I got a bucket. I got a bucket. I'm not gonna go to the left. I'm not gonna go to the left. I'm gonna go in here. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Caution, do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, warning. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Uh, penalty for misuse of cargo lift, a thousand dollars. Uh, penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, five thousand dollars. Oh my god. There's a door up there too. Doesn't look like I can't go up there anyway, so. I'm gonna go over there to the, the corner here on the butt with Good, the bucket. Said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. Well, I'm going it to question. Have alarmed it. him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Yeah. Uh, kind of. <laughs> I did forget about this area a little bit, but other than that, cargo operations manual. Okay. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? 
I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, <laughs> I'm stuck in here now. I think Great. We have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly yes. and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Uh, I don't want to. Past this point, okay. I have to? I have to. Okay, there's no other way. Alright, in the freaking container thing I go. Alright, the then, bucket. I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, okay. this should tell us yep. everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Do I comply with this or do not? Mm. Item 1. Is this a bucket? Uh, I want to leave. Can I leave? Oh, I want to participate in this. <laughs> uh, sure, it's a bucket. Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Okay. Item two. Is this a bucket? Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Okay. What's next? Item three. Is this a bucket? Another no. Oh, it's a bucket. a bucket. Oh, okay. Man, yeah, that's tough. <laughs> Stupid. Item four. Is this a bucket? I'm gonna comply with this. No. Correct. This is a tractor and not a bucket. To be honest, okay. <laughs> I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but I was starting to get concerned that even this might be too much for you. Thank you for not making me look like an idiot. Okay, next one. Tractor! My bucket. I think in the next one I'm going to call the tractor a bucket. Is this a bucket? Incorrect. This is a bucket. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Item six. Is this a bucket? Trick question. Both. Gotcha. <laughs> sure. Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> yes. Thank you. There's nothing here. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. Unless, is that what you think? <laughs> Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? Okay. No, not really. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And now I'm so <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket. a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had. Oh, I, they turned it off. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay. Here we go. Buckets. What happened? Is a bucket. Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. It was My a bucket. God, I had no idea. How could 
except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this oh is my wonderful God. news. We're not buckets. One never knows. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know okay. that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. <laughs> Okay, here we go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right. Uh, I'll take the bucket this time. To carry a bucket so magnificent, Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest mm. and entered the door on his left. Mm. Let's go. Uh, let's go this, this way again. Not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Well, no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Nah. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo lift. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to... But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. <laughs> so he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. Right. <laughs> Just something I wanted to do. <laughs> Oh my god, that All was funny. All of his were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, actually. Stanley cradled bucket. the bucket in a gentle embrace. Protective, yet delicate. Assertive, yet compassionate. Stanley clutched the bucket okay. tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Mm, yeah, let's go this way. Oh boy. I think this time I'm going to comply. I still don't know how the uh, the rest of them are. Okay. I don't remember if I did this one yet. I'm going to do it another time, though. I don't have time for that. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name Stanley better Rings. encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. <laughs> I have four now, just so you know. <laughs> have I gone down here before? I think I have, but I don't think I've done it with the bucket. Still need to figure out the one with the uh, lakes and stuff. Oh, this door opened. How interesting. I am the most expensive boss. Yeah, I bet you are. Business strategy. Okay, <laughs> damn. Uh,
Okay. Let's go down. I've never seen this one yet. I have my bucket and I'm happy. I got my bucket and I'm happy because I have my bucket. Having my bucket in my hand. I love my bucket. No one's gonna take my bucket from me. My bucket. My bucket. 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 Gotta love my bucket. I love my bucket. My bucket is mine. It's my bucket. Don't touch my bucket or you'll die. My bucket. My bucket. My bucket. It's my bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Bucket, bucket. Bucket, bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. I love my bucket. It's my bucket. Uh, uh, bucket. I love my bucket. Bucket, 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 bucket. Wow, this is taking forever. Okay. Okay, so there's really no other situation here other than the, uh, this, so we're done here. <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket <laughs> guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Okay. Buckets. I'm a bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Get a bucket. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be Why am I right. going down? Damn. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Right. All right. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I've gone down here with the bucket before, but you know, uh, yeah, I think I will do that code again. So, I mean, I have a bucket, so it's not that big of an issue. Mm -hmm. Mm. Let's go here. Oh, I don't have my bucket anymore. Oh, I do have my bucket. Okay. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh my god, my bucket! What horrible secret did this place hold? I'm a bucket hold? man. Stanley and the bucket I'm both a bucket. To themselves. Bucket, 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 bucket. The monitors jumped to life. And Stanley nearly dropped the bucket well, itself. that one has a Everyone code. in the office was being videotaped, code. monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Everything is okay. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do Here things it, comes. it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These <laughs> questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! 
He squeezed the bucket tighter, his one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Okay. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Uh, gotta do the countdown. Okay. When at last they came to the source of the room's power, Stanley and the Bucket knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. But at the last second, the Bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley oh. gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine oh, yeah, and claim yeah, the yeah, power right. for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Stanley had <laughs> through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a Ew. facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. And the bucket <laughs> this all along. Stanley oh marveled God. at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, flipping okay. through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley yeah, I bet. was happy. Oh, I bet I was happy. Okay, well, that's that. All right, uh, I'll try one more thing before I call it. All uh, his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, the door, right. I forgot about the door. Okay. I forgot about the door. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Pick a door yeah. five times. Is that all that yeah. you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. <laughs> hmm. I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly. 50 clicks. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is annoying. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Okay. Four one seven. Oh, great. Now go click a few times on door four three seven. Four three seven. Okay, that's way over here. Well it was. 
Oh, oh. Excellent. Here. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415. Here we go. <laughs> Now, back to door number 437. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Oh, my God. Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. Climb on it? How do I climb on it? Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. 416. Uh... We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! Okay. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Yes! We did it! Yeah, oh, wow. I got it. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could oh, hold you back. Guy. I'm very proud Ooh. of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? <laughs> what were you thinking? I have no idea. What was I thinking? Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, a large room, lots of boxes. Okay. Still need to figure that out. Uh, <laughs> and the other one? Uh, somewhere both red and blue. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, yeah. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stan but of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had nope, still on board with death. I'm not sure how to get the bucket ending. I mean, not the bucket ending, the, uh, the, the boxes thing. Okay, where's the one with the boxes? Uh... Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay, I was gonna say. You're getting close now, yeah. Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people cool. by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. <laughs> so now what? So it wants me to go here and go that way, right? That cable. Cat so Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you right, go through there. all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? 
I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Okay. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. So it wants me to go through the blue door. Now listen carefully, this is important. And there it is. The last Stiggly Wiggly. Savor this moment, it's Stanley. Stiggly Wiggly. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would Pretty tell much. you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever <laughs> the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Right. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to go in again. I want to see what, the, what happens if I just do the red door. Just comply in what he says. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines. Those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit hey, the, the memory zone. Just one more time. Okay. So we're just in here now. <laughs> How crazy is that? When Stanley found the collectibles. Okay. <laughs> ah. Aha. I got to cut this way. Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Seven. And here was the second Stan Lareen. You found this one all on your own just by poking around behind the boss's office. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest, back then I had no faith in Eight. you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. So, it should go up to like 17 or something. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? I think it was this one. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bathroom. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't <laughs> be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Great, can I leave now? Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. How you found it by the Netherator. <laughs> What's the back there? Ha <laughs>
It's mini stand number five. Oh my god, this is crazy. Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time sure. making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. All right, let's go. Let's continue on. I think it's going to be the last thing I'm going to do today. Oh, I have to go this way. Okay. And then this way. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most well, distinct okay. and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Yeah. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. So it I was a moment now. <laughs> unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Oh, they both go the same direction. Okay. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but oh move God. onward into you the You are future. in the present. Goodbye, memory zone. The past. Okay. It was a past door. <laughs> Mm. Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Okay. <laughs> Why? Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. Okay. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Oh, it's getting faster. Yes, I love that video. Okay, on to the next one, I guess. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. How many more times am I going to do this? I wonder. So I've got editing to do. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic. God, I'm already at over connected. an hour on this. I'm very Jesus. glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. And this here. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past 17. is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? I left them all. Can you find them? Can you find them? Can you find them? Can you find them? Collect them all. All right. So we're here now. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. The time does put a rosy <laughs> filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. Oh my god, this guy. Oh, yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Yeah. The two doors. And before everything else, there was your office. My office. 
Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere okay. along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy. And I came up with, well, I came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps Probably. I did. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley oh, really God, I gotta go, man. companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play Man. with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back oh just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This okay. is the story of a man named Stanley. Is that it? Or... All right. Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, so that's the end of this one. Hit that like button. Also subscribe so we can reach 25 subscribers. Okay? Okay, I gotta go. So...